happy Sunday to everyone. I just want to encourage us this morning before I go to church. The Bible says in, in Acts chapter 17 verse 28 that is in God that we live and move and have our being. I want you to think about that. It's in God that we live and move and have our being. We are living inside God. Do you really believe that? Sometimes it's hard to believe. That's why we find ourselves struggling, trying to do things in our own power. Imagine a baby in the womb of the mother. The baby depends on the mother for everything because the baby knows that it's living inside its mother. God is telling me to remind you this morning it's in him that you live. It's in him that you move. It's in him that you have your being. When things have become so rough, because you are feeling that you are outside, you are on your own, I want you to calm down and think this Sunday. Think carefully. Remember that you are living inside God. What does the baby gain from being inside the womb of a mother? Everything the baby needs is provided inside the womb of the mother. As you believe that you are living inside God, begin to ask him to nourish you, to guide you, to lead you, to support you, to feed you. You live inside him. You are unlimited. Nothing whatsoever can limit God. Therefore, there is nothing that can limit you. Your soul powers are limitless. Your abilities are limitless. You are a child of God. You live inside God. You are nourished by God. Look inward. Rest in his love for you. Rest in his goodness. And I know that as you do this, the glory of God will never fail you. God is not sick. God is not barren. God is not hopeless. Why then do you believe that you are sick? Why then do you believe that you are broke? Why then do you believe that you are hopeless? If you know that you are living in God, then you will know that God will nourish you and feed you with only the best. The baby in the womb, all he eats is what the mother eats. Are you now trying to tell me that you are eating carcass? If you are eating carcasses, where did you get it from? Because a child can only... Take from the breast of the mother what the mother has eaten. Today, look up. Reject anything that does not look like God in your life. And begin to thank God that you are the best, that you have the best, that you are working with the best. Oh, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. May the Lord go with you. May he open your eyes to see the goodness that surrounds you. May he open your mind to understand the greatness that you are in the name of Jesus. I bless you and I send you forth to go and to keep shining as the shining star that you are in Jesus' name.